on the way there, I drive through, because I live sort of in a village, and I drive through, I drove through this village, and they had like a lovely scene. It was of um, a village uh, cricket match going on because that's what happens over here because we're british anyway so i thought oh that would make a good instagram story but then i was in a hurry because i'm always late sorry i just have to sort the lils out oh and um anyway so i thought well i won't stop now on the way home a few hours later they were still playing cricket so i pulled the car over and um it's bear in mind it's a typical english village okay so you've got the you've got the um the village green there and they were playing cricket that's what i'm getting at anyway so god it's so long-winded i'm like don mon anyway <laughs> anyway so i get out the car and just as i sort of got out of the car and then i'm walking around the car to get to the um pavement i see this ball this cricket ball this bright red hard cricket ball heading towards me so i'm i'm stood there with my camera or, or with my phone all ready to take the, and i'm like ah! now those of you might notice that i may stand out sometimes when i go out especially i stand out when i'm in a <laughs> in a village where they're playing cricket and i think they were all white and they're all in whites so, so there i am by the side of the road with my locks and whatever i was wearing can't remember what i was wearing brightly colored shorts brightly colored top there i am and this ball is heading towards me now, luckily, it was on the ground. So I thought, ah, oh, I'll handle that because I used to play football. So <laughs> the ball's come towards me and I'm thinking, I better stop it going in the road. So I've stuck my leg out to sort of stop this ball. It's hit the inside of my foot and bounced off and hit me in the shin. With such power, I thought it had knocked a hole in my leg. So I'm aware that all these cricketers are watching this stupid woman with her locks <laughs> standing there with a the phone. And this ball has bounced off my shin. I tell you what, guys, I was in so much pain, but I thought, no, no, I have to front it out. So I sort of turned to try and rescue this ball before it hits the car. And one car went past and then the second car stopped for me. So I thought, right, go and get the ball now. So I've gone, oh, thank you very much. And I've, I've tried not to hobble across the road. So I've like sort of limped over and picked up the, the cricket ball. I'm so aware that everyone was watching me. Normally it doesn't bother me, but in this instance, it bothered me because my leg was hurting so much. So <laughs> I've got the ball and I've thrown it to this guy who's come running over. Wicket keeper, I don't know. I don't know anything about cricket. So I've thrown it to him and he's got supersonic like to, to catch it. I said, wow, that was a good catch. And then I've stumbled back into my car. My leg came up like a bloody bowl last night. I was in pain, guys. If you want to see what it looked like, go on to my insta because i put it in my stories and i said i got hit by a cricket ball on my drive home today don't ask <laughs> so that's the story <laughs> i was telling my daughter she went mum i can't believe that would happen <laughs> i said nobody's gonna believe me but it's true i would show you the leg but <sighs> It's not too bad now. It's gone down a bit and it's not bruised anymore, but it's tender to the touch. Well, I was injured. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs>